And what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mac. Another off-season preview for you. This is probably the last one. I'm trying to th- There's one more video, but I don't really know if that's an off-season preview. Yeah. When we get to it, we'll get to it. Anyway, so today's video, we're going to talk about the draft needs for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, here's the thing. The draft has blessed the Dallas Cowboys in the last two years. We wanted to take Trayvon Diggs with our first pick in 2020. C.D. Lamb fell to us. And we needed a wide We were going to draft a wide receiver. Might as well get the best one on the board at that time. Well, really, if you really think about it, I think Justin Jefferson might have been better. But we'll see. That's that's to be determined. Um, so then in 2021, we were going to take J.C. Horn. We were going to take Patrick Sertan. Michael Parsons, but they get taken. Michael Parsons falls to us. Even though me personally, what I would have took Rashawn Slater, but Michael Parsons falls to us. And he ends up being a wonderful player for us. Now, here's the thing about that. Maybe Michael Parsons. Here's the thing about Micah, though. Is he... Is he that great of a player if he doesn't rush the passer? That's the issue. When Micah became a great, Micah became defensive rookie of the year because he started rushing the passer, not because he was an off-the-ball linebacker. That's the, that's the key. So this team, this team, what it, if I'm this team, the one thing that has been consistent about this team is we draft well. The worst draft we have was the Taco Charlton draft. And in a way, you can say the Leighton Vander Esch draft. But, you know, injuries got to Leighton Vander Esch. So, but for the most part, we have drafted extremely well. I, and then thank you, Jesus, we keep. Uh, um, Will McClay. So we're in, we're in good when it comes to the draft. But as far as draft needs are concerned, number one need you have to address the offensive line. You got to use one of your first two picks on offensive line. Granted, the draft can come to you. Another wide receiver might fall to us. Um, Nicobe Dean, the linebacker, might fall to us. Jordan Davis, the defensive tackle out of Georgia, might fall to us. A lot of players could fall. A lot of players could fall. Now, here's the hard part. This doesn't. This draft doesn't seem to have, doesn't seem to be a very heavy quarterback draft. So, a lot of movement up front might not happen. It might not be a lot of movement up front. You might see a lot of teams trying to get out of there, especially in our position. If we can, if we can, if let's say we get shut out, you have to draft your board. Just listening to the draft show on DallasCowboys.com, Brian Broaddus, Jeff Cavanaugh, Kyle Yeomans, and David Hellman. Just listening to those guys and the way they draft, you have to draft your board. Don't draft a second round pick in the first round. You just don't do it. You try to you try your best to get out of there. Um, and then it depends on how many first rounders you have on your board in the first round because of what happens. Somebody's got to pick. Somebody's got to pick. So what ends up happening, you might only have 15 first round guys. And you have to start drafting second round guys in the first round. If something like that happens, then, yeah, I get it. But if you get wiped out. You know. Excuse me, if you get wiped out, you might have to. Might have to make a sacrifice. 
and and draft your board where you get picked. But you have to address offensive line. That is the biggest need. You have to address offensive line. You have to get you either got to get that center replaced or that left guard. It's crazy. We've been looking for a left guard since Ron Leary. <laughs> How funny is that? You got to you got to find an offensive lineman. Now, if you go guard, you can probably get a great guard in the second round, maybe even the third. Center center we'll see. The only other positions, you still got to get a safety. You still got to find a safety. Um, you can always use cornerbacks. You need a wide receiver. Those and and if you need. Here's the thing: you need a defensive tackle, but you need a penetrating defensive tackle, and I think that's the thing that's hard to find. I think every team wants to find that penetrating defensive tackle that Aaron Donald. Chris Long kind of guy who just dominates guards and centers just can just beat them just just no matter just has a a whole lot of strength to just beat those guys if you bring pressure the best pressure to bring is up the middle that's how you I don't know what it is about sitting here it makes me sleepy but if you bring pressure, you want to bring pressure up the middle. That's where you want to bring pressure. That's the hardest pressure for quarterbacks to, I guess, elude, if you will. You got to bring pressure up the middle. And the only way you can do that is either by blitzing or you can find you a great defensive tackle. Will we? Will you get that? I don't know. It remains to be seen. But we'll see. I mean, I don't have anything else to really add to that. I don't have anything else to really add to that. I mean, you got to find, you got to find. You got to find so so let's 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 recap. Defense you need defensive tackle. And you might even need a pass rusher if it depending on if you're able to keep Randy Gregory or DeMarcus Lawrence or both of them. You might still need a pass rusher. But you definitely need offensive line. Either guard or center. You definitely need defensive tackle. You can use another wide receiver, you can use another you need another safety. So, so, and tight end. Oh, tight end. I'm trying to think what your biggest needs are. What do you need to spend your first round pick on? Draft your board. That's rule number one. Draft your board. Do not reach. You reach in fantasy football. You can reach in fantasy football. Do not reach in real life. Okay. Okay. First priority is offensive line. Guard or center. That's first. Second priority is safety. Third priority, hopefully you can find one, is tight end. And then fourth priority is defensive tackles. Those are your four priorities. Guard center, safety, tight end, defensive tackle. And just like last year, if we draft anything other than those two, I'm going to be mad. I mean, those four, I'm going to be mad with the first round pick. Because we drafted Michael Parsons and I was like... Sean Slater was right there. We drafted Michael Parsons. Why? But anyway. But anyway. Um, 
yeah, I know this video's gone a little long. Um, yeah, guard, center, safety, tight end, defensive tackles, biggest draft needs. You got seven picks. Use them. Use them. And you're going to – and I think you have some compensatory picks coming too. So, um, yeah, use them. Use your picks. But until then, it's your boy, Billy Mack. And I'll holler at y'all next time.